Hello everyone, this is Mnya Scripts, straight out of Gary Films production. We thank you all for watching our YouTube channel. We thank you for having taken these lectures and we thank you for sharing these lectures basically with your colleagues that are more interested in graphics and having a living in graphics or designing. Remember, the person in front of you is Nyenje Isaac, also known as Mnya Scripts. That is my musical name or directing name when I work on certain movies, I work on certain uh, video video shoots. So I use that name, Mnya Scripts. So it is my brand name. Um, we started this to see that we improve ourselves, we share in the graphics world. We hope those who would want to uh, basically improve their graphics skills so these tutorials are basically free but if you find them useful consider buying us a cup of coffee within our descriptions if you would want to support us to see Gary Films production many scripts grow from this size to any other level please consider doing that through our description you can find several links and if you want to communicate to us you can pass through our email it is also in that description or if at all you want to be told physically you can contact us you can email us you can dial us uh, basically uh, let me give you our number if you want to talk to Munya Scripts, if you want to talk to Munya Scripts, basically, Munya Scripts, you can dial us on two five plus two five plus two five six then. Seven zero seventeen zero four seven nine. Basically, we are having this code because we are in Uganda. Uh, that is our phone number where you can contact us. Then our email is Gary Films Music at Gmail dot com. So basically we can offer you lectures we can offer you lectures in graphics that is to say we can help you learn we can help you learn illustrator um, photoshop that is true, and that is what we are going to be looking at we can hope you learn illustrator photoshop coral draw um cinema 4d after effects that is photoshop coral after effects and illustrator and other softwares like from here Pro. but for us we do not offer papers so we do not offer papers or oh, basically I do not offer papers because it is basically me who is going to be teaching you giving you the different school the different skills I'm saying that I don't offer papers. What I mean, I don't offer. I do not offer certificates. So I'm here to just equip you with what? With skills. So that is my number. That is my email. So if you feel like learning graphics, um, if you feel like taking your skills to another level, and professional level please consider 
dialing us consider uh, buying us a, cop a cup of coffee so that we continue giving you different lectures and if you do want to be taught um, individually then dial us so the person talking before you i'm basically a professional graphics designer animator and videographer i've directed several music videos uh several movie skits some of the movies i've directed Bina uganda so i think and basically right now i'm tutoring at a certain institute that is called Universal Institute of Graphics and Technology based in Kampala, Uganda, just opposite Uganda House. So I'm glad that I'm in front of you improving your skills and having given me that opportunity to improve your skills. So we are going to be having some lessons in the software we've been using before. That is Corel what? Corel Draw. And within my links in the previous videos I've been showing you different I gave you some of the images that we are going to be using on designing we are going to be using on in our Corel Draw that is basically within the description and you can all get all those images at a cost of one dollar okay so I'm going to be uploading some templates of of business cards within this under this video link so that we can share it we can use it and see that we come up with something so basically we go back a little bit behind before we start to design what are some of the terms that we are going to be finding in our designing so as we are going to design there are some stuff that we should be aware of like basically resolution color formats okay then besides resolution color formats we should know what a raster is then what a pixel pixel is picture then a vector because you are going to be hearing these forms or these sayings maybe i tell you a vector i tell you of a picture pixel raster then eventually you hear programs editing programs so basically we we'll go back here so we have different editing programs that to say uh, different editing programs that work on different designs that we are working on so we have basically programs that are photo editing programs and those that are let me say photo editing programs also known as the raster programs okay so if at all we have if at all we talk of the photo editing programs it is the same as saying pixel editing what program so it is either raster or pixel or picture so basically me talking of a raster or pixel or picture or an image basically these are the same so basically we have different programs that basically are more known for certain things like photoshop is a vec is not a vector program it is a raster based program so it works with rasters most times pixels pictures or images so it is hard to find that a program works independently like photoshop it is a raster based program but we can also create shapes in it meaning we can deal with vectors when in photoshop but why do we call it a raster based program it is basically because 
Photoshop is more flexible if you're working on photos. Let me say you want to remove like pimples, uh, wrinkles, basically all that is done in what? In Photoshop. But if you happen to use it in a, to, to like want to remove that in Illustrator, it isn't more flexible than like it would have been in what? In Photoshop. So meaning that basically we can depend on one software okay to do a lot of stuff that can also be done in another software but then where does it go more flexible that is photoshop when working with images when working with images pixels pictures or rasters then a vector basically means A shape basically made of lines, points, and curves. So we are going to be doing that in Illustrate, in Illustrator, and Corel. So as we are doing that, you will get to understand what is basically what a vector is and what a raster is. So editing programs basically editing programs are those programs that we have basically that we can use when doing graphics so we can use photoshop as i mentioned them before that we can use photoshop we can use illustrator we can use indesign we can use to come up with different designs but depending on which design do you want where is it going to serve then after knowing this we go back to resolution When we talk of resolution, what should come into your head? Basically, what comes into my head when I hear the word resolution? It is number of pixels. That basically, number of number of pixels that make up an image okay now what are the pixels pixels are those small that make up a digital image or design So basically, pixels are those tiny, tiny boxes that make up an image. Let me get one of my images and i show you something. My images here. So if this is my image. Open it. So if that is my image. Basically, I took this image with any cone 800 so if i happen to scale it to show you something i scale it so as i scale it uh, it goes on losing its quality so the more i scale it the tiny tiny boxes that i happen to see inside it it is not showing it because it like gets too big before before it completes it because of the screen i'm using to record but you can try it that side i don't know which screens are you using so if you happen to scale a certain image more than you would have scaled it then basically it goes on you start to have to, to see those small small boxes within it that make up an image so meaning that the more the number of pixels in an image then the more the images appear the image appears to be clear so if we talk of resolution basically we are talking of the clarity of an image that is one of the things that you should note then another thing before we continue, uh, 
we've talked of different formats when designing whether in Corel, whether in Photoshop so we have at least two color formats that you should denote we have the primary color format for printing and that is C M Y K and all these stand for different what different colors meaning that um, C stands for cyan B it is C M Y K M stands for magenta and um, Y stands for yellow and lastly um, K stands for black okay then um, we talk of its resolution basically when we are going to be printing something maybe we have designed a business card we've designed the poster we've designed an e-poster we've designed the flyer so its resolution basically its color format at first it should be cmyk then this is what we consider first as we set our page because it is better for you to design when you know where you are heading when you know where you are going to be presenting your final product basically if you are going to be taking it for printing then its color format should be cmyk that is cyan uh, magenta yellow and black strictly then after we understanding that uh, that is a primary color for printing after we understanding it we come to its resolution that is its resolution we could take not less than 300 so if you go less than 300 and you happen to take your poster for print it will appear pixelated meaning that it will appear not clearly seen all together so we've looked at the primary color for printing then we look at the primary color for um primary color for screen so the primary color for screen is basically rgb which stands for a red um green and then So basically, we have RGB as the primary color for screen, whereby R stands for red, G stands for green, and then B stands for blue. Then the resolution, the resolution for this screen. colors is 72 so whenever you are designing and you happen to be designing a poster or anything that is to be posted on screen please the resolution should be not less than 72 you can go beyond that but basically it should be not less than 72 so after you understanding that what comes next I'm like giving you some of the hints that you are going to be using most when designing. So we talk of portrait, portrait, and landscape. So uh, the resolution for this screen 
colors is basically 72 then as we continue in our designing we are going to be talking of uh, basically portrait and landscape so when when do we mean portrait when do we need portrait when do we need landscape what do we mean by saying portrait or landscape so let me pop up another thing here so that we may okay rich text Okay, paint drawing. So if we try to like I want to draw So, okay, this is portrait. Let us have our page. Maybe, control Z, if I have my page like that. So, in our softwares, we are going to be having a whiteboard that is called different names in different softwares. In Illustrator, it is called an artboard. In Photoshop, it is called a canvas. In Corel, we can call it our workspace basically so all those are meaning the same thing that space that white sheet where we keep our arts so it is like where we have to place everything that we want to print on paper so we set this canvas this artboard this workspace depending on what size do we want to design so basically before you coming into the software to start designing you should be aware of the size of the poster you want to make and then on setting it you give it different dimensions then it is you to decide will it be displayed in the landscape format for easy designing when you are designing or do you have to just leave it as a portrait then after you deciding that let us try to see what does a portrait mean what does a landscape mean so portrait is basically we having the height because this is the height this is the height that is the height of our paper then this is the width you can call it the width but basically at times you can call it the length because this is the height this is the length then this is portrait basically P portrait that is portrait so if we happen to want a landscape so we get our height less than the word less than our links over this so this is our height this is our length stroke with this so we are having our height less or shorter than our length so this is the meaning of portrait portrait is when the height the, it is when we have our design and its height is longer than the width is basically then for a landscape this is when we have our design and its height is less than its what its width so after we are understanding that then we are able to like open up our software so we've seen what portrait means what landscape means um, what basically the different color formats mean and what they are their different resolutions
then we can now open up our software so remember i've told you that if you want to be given certain courses if you want to be taught directly so you can holler us on this number that is 070-17-0-777-9 or it is 0782108549 so these are my numbers so if I told you want individual lectures we can talk we can bargain we can come to a conclusion then you start acquiring some knowledge in graphics specifically but the fact is i don't offer certificates and i don't offer offer i don't offer papers i hope you are getting me i just equip you with the skills so you can allow me we can talk and come up to a conclusion whereby i can we can be meeting then i teach you basically different um graphics skills so if at all you are not in uganda basically we can do online studying and i give you hope when you are designing um you just change that is first zero to eight plus two five six because that is our code in uganda seven zero seventeen zero triple seven nine oh or a plus two five six then seven eight ten eighty five ten eighty five forty nine we can talk via that and through our email and for your case the images we are using in here are basically uh, uploaded on blue this video that you are basically watching right now and some other videos and some of the softwares for the disclaimers we use this for study purpose so please consider subscribing consider if you find this hopeful consider buying us a cup of coffee because we are hoping you also understand and, and living because these tutorials are basically free but if you are calling in for individual lectures we shall charge you some amount of money but not too much okay so we try to open up our software that is Corel we are using uh, Corel 7 because it is a little bit of more flexible for the starters you can easily have control over it than the other versions of what? of Corel So after this popping up now, you say continue. Since I've not registered so far, I've not just bought this, I've just got it online. For like, you can specifically download it for use, then install it without even putting the registration number. Then you happen to say register later. Then you say continue. So for those who have been following our tutorials, you got this introductory part from the other previous past tutorials. So I'm trying to like guide the newcomers, guide the new people who have just like joined us. So we are here now, but it is saying Corel isn't responding, has stopped working cancel that so we are going to be starting from here so our conclusion we've stopped when it isn't responding so if we happen to click it again let us first see Continue. Then I say register, then continue.
problem caused the program to stop working correctly windows will close the program and notify you so okay i'm going to start recording after opening it maybe it is conflicting with my recording software so i'm going to open it after i'm going to start recording after opening it so thanks for having subscribed to gary films production page uh, thanks for being part of us thanks for subscribing thanks for loving our music basically i'm a musician i'm a video editor i'm a director i do animation so and on a professional basis and i'm working now with an institute just behind uganda house if you feel like wanting to study graphics basically and you want to own your own certificate then you can honor me then i I hope you join that institute and you get to learn graphics, you get to understand the principles of design, everything that you may need. A lot of softwares are taught there, so just consider allowing me, then we talk about them, then we see what we can do. And if you are not having that money, and if you are not having that time to attend to an institute, I can hope you improve, I can give you several skills, but I don't offer certificates. So I train you on a certain cost, then you improve your skills. So let us meet again when I've opened this in the second tutorial. Thanks for watching.